In the previous lesson, you learned that the encoders can be used to self-correct the robot's forward movements. Let's program it. Open the Labyrinth Using Encoders program from the previous lesson. Save this program as Labyrinth Auto Street before making changes. This program will make use of both encoders, so make sure both are reset before use. Then change the movement commands so they are based on the values of the encoders. Each existing set of motor commands will need to become a set of three if statements that determine which corrected movement is most appropriate based on the current encoder values. Add the framework for three if statements. Every if statement begins with the word if, has a set of parentheses for its condition, and a set of curly braces to define what lines of code to run if the condition is true. If the left encoder is ahead, sensor value, left encoder, greater than, sensor value, right encoder, hold the left motor back. If the right encoder is ahead, sensor value, right encoder, greater than, sensor value, left encoder, hold the right motor back. If they're exactly the same, sensor value, left encoder, equal to sensor value, right encoder, run them at the same power. This will make the robot run straight for the first movement in the labyrinth. Note that the while loop, with its condition, is still controlling the overall distance the robot moves. The if statements are just making sure the robot is moving in a straight line toward that target distance. So that we can clearly see what's going on, let's comment out the rest of the code. This technique uses the forward slash asterisk and asterisk forward slash multi-line comment markers to temporarily disguise the other behaviors as comments. That way, none of our work is lost, and we can focus on the changes in our program. Let's download and run. The robot now moves in a straighter line. Pause this video now to test your own code. Now complete the upgrade by changing the remaining moving forward behaviors in the labyrinth to moving straight behaviors as well. Change the second, third, and fourth moving forward behaviors to use the same self-correction code as the first. You can speed up the process by using the copy and paste commands to clone the repeated portions of code. Remember to reset both encoders between these behaviors. Download and run the program with a new self-correcting code. The robot completes its task, especially the moving straight portions, very reliably. In this lesson, you implemented the automatic straightening code, greatly improving the performance of your robot. However, every motor is different, so the two power levels we chose, 63 and 50, may not be ideal for your robot. You can adjust the power levels for your robot, but the program has gotten pretty long, so changing individual power levels will take time. 
Move on to the next lesson to learn what variables are and how they can be used to simplify making changes to the program.